What is up, Schwing Dynasty? Here I am. Uh, a little impromptu video here. Something I might start doing a couple of. Little short, shorter videos. Um, I'm cooking up some breakfast. Uh, I have the camera literally up in my pantry here. Not pantry, but uh, cupboard. Spice cupboard and so on and so forth. Cooking some breakfast. And I got to thinking about our, our league. And I got thinking about uh, something I want to call the commish on the dish or the commish dish. Um little tip or just talk, uh, get some conversation going. Uh, feel free to respond to this in the chat um, if you want to. Um, but just little things about Dynasty. So uh, one little tip I want to give you guys, I want to talk to you guys about, and this isn't even really a tip necessarily. I don't know. I'm just trying not to toot my own horn too much because obviously Sean's the champ. I have won one, um, but it's not like I'm dominating this league in any form. Um but just some ideas, get some conversations flowing. Um, one thing I've done uh, in this league, and it helps me kind of um, look ahead a little bit, is uh, I created a little spreadsheet just to make it real simple for myself, um, kind of color-coded. I put in, there's a page for my quarterbacks, page for my running backs, page for my um, wide receivers and tight ends, and they have their ages in it. And each year out. So the next five years are mapped out of the age they'll be. And at different ages for different positions, I start to have it automatically change um, colors. So I'm not going to give you the ages I look for, but it, at one point they're green, then they turn yellow, and then eventually they turn red. And I'm definitely looking to move on or shop or ship um, players that I have in the in the red um, or in the yellow rather. And if I'm in the red, it's like, okay, time to really replace this guy. And it helps me with draft season coming up. See, where am I going to be in next year? Well, where are my ages of my players going to be next year? So I can kind of try to attack that, um, that position a little bit more. Um, and it has led me to see like, oh boy, um, in a couple of years, this position is all, all red, all dudes I want to be moving on from. So maybe right now I feel good about that, but in a couple of years, uh, I'm not going to feel so good about it. So it's time to invest now. And I think that's one of the big things with Dynasty that's harder uh, on like a redraft or a, a keeper league is you can pivot real fast. Um, we only have so many opportunities to um, replenish our, our shelves in this uh, in this type of league. Obviously, we have unexpected players we can pick up in waivers. But for the most part, it's the rookie draft and uh, trades. And so looking at like, okay, this team maybe needs a quarterback who regardless of age for this year or needs a running back regardless of age to win this year, but maybe I'm not there yet. <clears throat> I'm not quite ready to compete. And, uh, I just don't want to, uh, I don't want to hold on to a piece where maybe got some lemon here. Um, yep. Don't want to hold on to a piece where that's good stuff. Um, don't want to hold on to a piece that maybe isn't I'm if I'm not ready to win this year, if I'm not looking at winning this year, if I'm not in position to win a championship, maybe it helps someone else and their younger guys will help in my rebuild or my restocking for the future. Um, so just something to think about. A color coding system for me on a, on like an Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheets, it didn't take long to set up. It was pretty simple to set up. I know some of you guys are like, yeah, I'm not doing that because I don't take this that seriously. And I get it. But for those of you guys out there, like, yeah, I want a better way to keep track of this. It does help. It give, it makes it nice and easy to see. And I, I usually put my oldest players on top and then down. And if, if it's like in two years, it's all red, then I know I got to make a, make a move uh, and make some changes to help the future of my team. So just a little commish dish here. Um, cooking up some breakfast for the family. Hope you guys are having a good Saturday in Doha, Saturday night in China, Sunday morning. Um, all right. Peace out, guys.